Hello one and all and welcome back to Etika Battles. I saw that you all liked the other videos that I posted, and especially the Pokemon Mosh Pit one, so I'm back to doing another one. This is against a random Wi-Fi person, so um, enjoy. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm trying to like make this like Vaporeon switch or something, but he's staying in there with the substitutes, and I'm not sure what he hopes to accomplish here, but I knew if I got hit with a skull, that wouldn't last for too long, so I'm waiting for him to toxic or something, um, so I can revenge kill him or something else, but I mean, he's messing around going for the substitute, so I just keep hitting him with punishments. I don't really have a strong dark move, so the punishment will have to do the job, and luckily it does. That's why I don't really trust walls in this generation, because they always get critted out of the game, so that's why my lapis has shell armor. But anyways, so he goes into Fortress, and I know Fortress walls weave off, but then again, at the same time, Fortress walls superior, so why would you go into superior, Etika? Well, I was trying to stop his setup, but um, he gets the rocks up, not that big of a deal to me. I don't carry rocks myself, even though that sounds really foolish to a lot of you guys, but I mean, that's just how I play the game. I used to play with rocks, now I don't. Anyways, so um, he goes for the taunt. Well, actually, I go for his haunt, but it gets bounced back by Espeon's ability, so that really sucks. But I mean, it doesn't really affect me too much. So I just switch right into Soul Glow, and I plan on hitting him with an Earthquake or a Hidden Power or something. And, um, I mean, not a Hidden Power, like an um, Earthquake or a uh, Mega Horn. Yeah, there we go. But um, he pre I predict that he would switch, so I go for an Earthquake myself. And um, he goes into Fortress, who takes the hit fairly well. I mean... It's very, very defensively bulky, so I didn't expect that to do too much damage in the first place. But, I mean, still, it, it did a good amount, I think, for non-stab, at least. So I go into Bermuda now, because I think that I can set up on this thing. Even though it has Gyro Ball, which would hit me pretty hard, I mean, I can still do some kind of damage to it. All I have to do is get up with enough Calm Minds, and this Bermuda will be unstoppable. I know its name is Sigilyph, don't kill me. Anyway, so he goes into Espeon, and I go for Calm Minds. Just setting up myself, because I know he probably would have done the Psycho Shift, maybe. Like he, well, he would have thought I would do the Psycho Shift, but it wouldn't really affect me because I have the Magic Guard, so luckily I can't be toxic or anything like that. And he goes for a Substitute. I don't see where that would service him too much, but I mean, I guess he was trying to feel out exactly what I would do. So I can understand his thinking here, but um, I just keep setting up. And he goes for a Baton Pass, and I don't like the looks of that, so I think I go for an Air Slash in this turn to prevent anything having a free switching. And he goes into Terekion. Well, as most of you know, as horse, right? So I should be screwed at this point. But luckily I'm able to get a critical hit on the substitute and take it down. And so the stone edge comes through. And that finishes me off pretty badly. And so that's done. Anyways, so, <laughs> so Bermuda's knocked out of the game pretty early. And um, now I have to switch into Cicada to finish this thing off. And I think I'll go for the... It could, oh, oh, I missed. And he missed. Okay, this is going to be very interesting, but um, I go for the Giga Drain again, and uh, I don't think it kills him, but it does a good amount. This Terrakion, I mean, even though it's a threat, it's not that bad. You see, I can handle it, guys. I'm, I'm an OU pro. Look at me. I'm doing it right. <laughs> anyway, so another Stone Edge, and that'll finish my ass off. Boom. Okay, so um, I have Superior back in there, and this Espeon is still alive, surprisingly. So I go into Siren, because I had maximum special defense, so I wall this thing pretty well. And um, he, I guess he acknowledges that, because Lapras is a very renowned wall, and he goes into Fortress, but I, I think I can set up on this thing regardless. I mean, as long as it doesn't have Toxic, I'll be okay. Oh, I love this part of the song.
So back in the game, um, I ice shard his Dragonite, and uh, it has the Marvel, no, not the Marvel scale. Is it the multi scale or the Marvel scale? I keep getting those two mixed up, but I mean, regardless, it gets hit with ice shards and it drops dead, so that's the point. Anyway, so the Dragonite's done, and um, Lapras is once again in the game. Like, why is it that every time I look to the game, Lapras is always in there? So, um, he goes into his fortress, and I go for a curse. Because uh, I figure um, it's a perfect time to set up. I mean, even if my siren gets killed, I have like um, about two more Pokemon left, I think, so I'll be able to do something to it. He goes for the Gyro Ball, but since my speed is already lowered so much and I already have neutral resistance thanks to the water typing, it doesn't really do all that much. So, um, anyways, so I'm in there and um, I'm just cursing up at this point. Like, I'm just waiting for something to come in that I can kill. I know I won't be able to kill this thing until I have up at least three or four curses. So, um,. Luckily, he's allowing me to do that, and his Volt Switch is coming in, and I suppose he's like trying to go into something that can revenge kill me easily, but as the curses stack up, and my special defense is already insane, it's not going to do all that much, and so Terrakion comes back in. Now, normally, this would have done some damage, but um, he switches and he goes into Fortress, because I guess he expected the Ice Shard, and so um, that comes, and Fortress, of course, takes it extremely well, but I mean... I, I suppose I can see what his strategy will be, but at the end of the day, that Terrakion won't be able to kill me because I'll be able to ice shard it and I'll speed it. And I think he was also wishing for a critical hit with the Volt Switch. So I told him in the chat that, hey dude, I mean, you're not going to get a critical hit with the Volt Switch. Not to be a douche or anything, but I mean, I have Shell Armor, so it's impossible. Terrakion's going to get killed, and you're only going to have Fortress who's going to get killed by the Aqua Tails, because sooner or later they'll be strong enough to kill it. So, um... He just gives up at that point. I mean, it was a very good game, though. Like, I, I love the game of Pokemon. It's like a mind game. It's a chess game. And that that's where my appeal for the game comes from. Anyways, I gotta go to school now. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Oh, yeah, and very good job, Siren. I'm very proud of my Pokemon. They're, they're so beautiful. Oh, my goodness.